A Barbie has been every girl's favorite toy for decades, and while we love that we have the chance to have a lot of different dolls, Mattel also made some mistakes along the way. Make sure you watch this video until the end to know which Barbie turned out to be really dangerous for children. If you love Barbies as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up. Today we are showing you the 10 most inappropriate Barbie dolls that actually exist. The Oreo Barbie It all started with a partnership with Oreo Cookies, but it turned out to be incredibly wrong. We all love cookies and all the different ways to eat it, so we wonder how something bad can happen with them. But Mattel just didn't think that Oreo was also an offensive slang against people of color. It is used to talk about a black person who is regarded as having adopted the attitudes, the values, and the behaviors associated with white society, often at the expense of their own heritage. And you should never take that as a compliment, so an Oreo can be an incredibly good or incredibly bad thing. And by making the Barbie black, they made people think that this girl was portrayed as too white. Just like the cookie, she was black on the outside and white on the inside. Oreo and Mattel never intended to share this message, but it still happened, and it turned out to be pretty offensive to some people. We have no problem with a partnership with another brand of cookies, but just ask more people about it when you come up with an idea. The Totally Tattoo Barbie A couple of years ago, having a tattoo made you feel special, but nowadays, you probably feel more special if there is no ink on your skin because everyone is now turned into a work of art. And Barbie is not an exception. With the Tokidoki Barbie, kids had the opportunity to add tattoos to their favorite doll. The totally stylin' tattoos Barbie included over 40 easy, no mess tattoos, a tattoo stamper, and additional fashions. The game was not only about putting temporary tattoos on Barbie's skin, they had the chance to put it on their skin too. It was not the first time that we saw kids playing with temporary tattoos, but this time, parents thought that Mattel took it way too far. They said that it might encourage kids to get tattoos even though they are way too young for this. Many parents thought it wasn't that bad until they saw what many call a tramp stamp, with the name of their boyfriend on the back of their kid's doll. While this one last tattoo is not really kid-friendly, we don't see any problem with temporary tattoos of things like a heart or a star. Stop the prejudice and let kids know that grown-ups with tattoos can be good role models too. But while they don't really know what they want, temporary tattoos tattoos can't be harmful at all. The Teen Talk Barbie When we were kids, Barbie used to be our best friend. We could tell her anything we wanted, and unlike our mom, she wasn't going to answer with anything weird. But some girls ended up feeling lonely when their Barbie didn't answer. This was when Mattel came up with the Teen Talk Barbie, so our favorite doll could speak to us. And as soon as kids started playing with it, parents wished that she never got the chance to talk. That's because Barbie could only say things like, Will we ever have enough clothes? Or, I love Love shopping. There is nothing wrong with a girl who loves fashion, but when this is the only thing she can say, we think that it doesn't make her the best role model for little girls. And the American Association of University Women became really offended when Barbie said, Math class is tough, as if doing something other than being pretty was too complicated for her. The Simpsons even criticized it in Lisa vs. Malibu Stacy when her doll said things like, Thinking too much gives you wrinkles. We think that children should just use their imagination and think that Barbie could say greater things than that if she could speak. What about a Barbie who wants to start her own business? Or a doll who doesn't care about boys like Ken and just wants to spend time with her friends? Now that's something we would want to hear. Let's make some new friends! The Barbie Video Girl Now that's a Barbie who has ambition. This time, the doll wanted to become a filmmaker and let kids film themselves. The Barbie was a real working video camera that gave kids a chance to create movies from Barbie's point of view with a full-color LCD screen, more than 25 minutes of recording time, and real-time playback. It was the chance for kids to be the heroes of their own stories. Unfortunately, Video Girl was not the best name for Barbie. That's because a Video Girl is actually a beautiful woman in a bikini who did dances around in the background of rap videos. This is not a bad thing, but this is not the only thing girls should aspire to be. Why can't they talk about Barbie being a filmmaker instead, or just a normal actress? That would be a better ambition for young girls who want to work in the movie industry. But the biggest problem was that people thought that giving a camera to a kid could turn into something really inappropriate. People with bad intentions could take advantage of kids to get the video that they want and sell it on a website for adults. This is why we don't suggest giving a camera to your kid 
kid until they are teenagers, or at least really make sure that everything is okay when they are using one. The Barbie Happy Family One of the greatest things that a woman can aspire to be is a mother, and Mattel wanted to teach children about family life. This is why many kids were interested in the Barbie Happy Family, also called Pregnant Midge. She was one of Barbie's best friends, and she literally had a baby inside her. Yes, she didn't only have a bulging belly, you could also clearly see a small plastic baby in her abdomen. This is also what made her a little bit creepy, and we wouldn't be surprised if it gave kids nightmares. With so many details on how a baby grows inside a woman's body, kids started asking too many questions, and their parents weren't ready yet to talk about the birds and the bees. But the main reason why Pregnant Midge was controversial is that she didn't have a wedding ring. Many people thought that she looked way too young to have a kid, and it encouraged teen pregnancy. While some teenagers can become really good mothers, most girls are not ready yet, and Barbie shouldn't make them think that it's normal to have a kid at that age. Moreover, she didn't come with a husband, which made people think that she just spent the night with him before he left her. Anyway, that wasn't a happy story. Parents wish their kids could find a better way to start a family. The Barbie in a wheelchair. We love diversity, and this is why we're really happy to see a Barbie in a wheelchair. Little girls need to have good role models like this to believe that they can be beautiful too. This time, Barbie had another friend called Becky who was in a wheelchair, and she didn't let anyone stop her from doing what she wants as she was also the school photographer. It all started with the simple share a smile Becky, and the young doll even later got the chance to participate in the Paralympics in her wheelchair. Becky quickly became a great inspiration for young girls who learned that there was nothing wrong with being in a wheelchair. This is why you're probably wondering what the problem is. The Barbie in a wheelchair looked like a perfect idea, but there was actually one little thing that people complained about. A high school student named Kirsty Johnson found out that Becky's chair wouldn't fit into the elevator at Barbie's dream house. And it didn't make sense for her that the only girl who really needs to use the elevator can't fit in it. Mattel later fixed this problem, so we hope that Becky will have the chance to shine once again. This one was actually a good role model, and she simply needed a little more space to show it. The Mexican Barbie Here is another example of diversity. Mattel gave us the chance to travel all around the world to discover new cultures. On the website, you could read, Hola, welcome to Mexico. The Barbie was inspired by traditional mariachis and marimbas to be ready for any fiesta. She wore a bright pink ruffled dress with colorful lace and ribbon accents. The doll even included a passport, country stickers, a chihuahua friend, and a brush. People from all around the world said that the doll looked beautiful, and the world collection was a great idea. However, those who really knew about the Mexican culture said that Mattel really got it wrong. Some of them said, if the doll is part of the world collection and it's representing the Mexican culture, then the chihuahua should not be with the doll. The chihuahua has never been a symbol or a mascot to represent Mexico, and she was not the only controversial doll. Many people criticized the simplistic portrayals of different heritage and complained that the images looked very dated, as if they had been created for a different time. Mattel replied that they did their best to represent the Mexican culture by consulting the Mexican embassy, but it looks like it wasn't enough. We think that a more recent portrayal of the dolls would have been more appropriate. The Slumber Party Barbie This doll was sold a long time ago in 1965, so we understand why Mattel was still making little mistakes at that time. But we don't understand why no one in the 60s spoke out to say that this doll was just a terrible role model for young girls. Barbie was going to a sleepover, and there was nothing wrong with that until we found out what the girls were doing there. The Slumber Party Barbie came with a pink scale and was permanently set at 110 pounds. We know that Barbie is probably really tall, but let's say she is 5'9". She would already be 35 pounds underweight if she weighed 110 pounds. Actually, she wouldn't even be able to stand up if she was so thin because her proportions are too unrealistic. And that's not the most terrible thing. She also came with the book, How to Lose Weight, as if she wasn't skinny enough. And you know what was the book's only advice? don't eat. Mattel dropped the scale the last year, but the Barbie was still sold with the diet book for a couple of years. We can't believe that they got away with a toy that promotes anorexia. We were going to forgive them for Barbie's unrealistic proportions, but now we think that they have taken things way too far. The Growing Up Skipper Barbie Growing up is just a part of our lives, and young girls will one day have to find out about it. They will not only become taller, but they will also have more curves, including breasts. 
Kids. And this is exactly what Mattel wanted to teach them with Growing Up Skipper in 1975. Skipper used to be a young girl, just like the kids playing with her, but Mattel later came up with a new doll that could grow up. If her arms were rotated, she would become half an inch taller and small breasts would appear under her torso. On the box, you could even read, the doll grows from cute little girl to a tall and curvy teenager with a set of pretty clothes for each time of her life. A couple of years later, Skipper was finally a real grown-up with Super Teen Skipper. Her new body mold included small permanent breasts and she also had a slightly different new face to make her look older. It was not totally a bad idea. After all, it is normal for our body to change and kids probably already noticed that their big sister didn't look the same. But we think that many parents weren't ready to talk about puberty with their little girls. Or actually, we think that pregnant Midge and growing up Skipper would be a great way to teach kids about the birds and the bees. The Pooper Scooper Barbie Just when we thought that Barbie couldn't be more inappropriate, the Pooper Scooper Barbie was actually a risk for children's lives. This time, Barbie was a professional dog walker, which is a really nice job for a young woman who loves animals. It came with a really cute dog that was maybe a little bit too realistic. And it's not only because it was soft and fuzzy and that its mouth, ears, head, and tail really moved, it's because the dog could eat his food and later poop it out. Then Barbie could pick up the poop with her magnetic Pooper Scooper even though it's really weird and a little disgusting, we think there is nothing wrong with teaching kids that they should clean up after their dog after a number two. So what was wrong with this dog? Kids started swallowing the little parts of the toy. It's not really surprising and we shouldn't let kids that are too young play with this, but the problem was that with the magnets, it became much more dangerous than any other toy. They had to go to the hospital because it could be life-threatening. This is why Barbie Forever and Tanner the dog were recalled. But don't worry, they were quickly replaced by Barbie and her walk and potty pup with no magnets. Which doll do you think was the most inappropriate? Don't be shy in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear what you think. And that's it for 10 most inappropriate Barbie dolls that actually exist. For more stories like this, make sure you watch 20 Toys No Kid Would Want to Receive for Christmas. Thanks for watching and see you next time.